Hi, good morning, everybody. Matthew 22, 21, Jesus says, Render unto Caesar the things that are Caesar's, and unto God the things that are God's. If you remember what's going on there, the religious leaders are trying to trap Jesus to pit him against the political establishment of the day, which was Rome. And basically, they take this uh, uh, um, a coin and they say, hey, should we pay taxes to Caesar or not? And Jesus says, well, whose image is on the coin? And they says, well, that's Caesar's image. And he says, well, give to Caesar what is Caesar's and give to God what is God's. See, Jesus didn't let himself get mixed up in the politics of Rome and in the taxation of Rome. What Jesus was basically doing is saying, hey, God's kingdom and God's purposes ride out and work through whatever governmental system is in place. The church of Jesus Christ will be established. Remember Jesus said, upon this rock, faith in Jesus, right? I will build my church and the gates of hell won't prevail against it. Now what Jesus is saying that the church of Jesus Christ is gonna go out in whatever government is set up wherever, because God's kingdom rules over all. Now we see in the nations of the world, it doesn't seem like God's ruling in those nations, but overall, God rules and reigns through the hearts of his people. And he says, hey, don't try to get me into this issue. He goes, that's Caesar's coin. It has, him, it has his image on it. If that's the law of the land, he says, you give to Caesar what is Caesar's, but give to God what is God's. So what, you have to ask yourself the question, what is God's? What is God's? Well, everything is God's. Your whole life is God's. Everything is God's. Your, your, your time, your talent, your treasure all belong to God. So you, if you give God your life, you're not going to walk around with a, a rebellious spirit saying, hey, I'm not going to pay my tribute to, to Caesar or, or my taxes. No. If you give your life to God, you're going to be just like Jesus was. Remember Jesus sent Peter out on a mission one time when they asked him about, you know, about paying the temple tax? And, and he said, well, go reach into the river and uh, into the sea, pull out a fish, pull out the coin, and you pay that for us. Pay that for me and you. You, you, you pay that temple tax. Jesus said, I'm, I'm not going to get mixed up in this because my whole life, my whole being is for God. And God rules over all, and he rules in the hearts of his people. So remember that. As a Bible-believing Christian, you rent to unto Caesar the things that are Caesar's, and you be thankful for the land that we get to live in, you be thankful for the freedoms that we have for the gospel. Other countries don't have that freedom, but either way, the gospel is still going forth all over the world, just like Jesus said. God bless you.